Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have selected a SmartArt graphic, you can use the commands found in the Design and Format tabs of the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to make changes to your selected graphic. You will now learn about the functions found in these two tabs and how they can help you to change the layout and formatting of your SmartArt. On the Design tab of the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab, you will find the Create Graphic button group shown at the left end. You can use these command buttons to add more shapes to your selected SmartArt. If you select a shape in your SmartArt graphic, you can click the Add Shape drop-down button to add another shape to your graphic. The choices of shape position relative to the selected shape will be shown in the button's drop-down menu. Select where you want to add another shape from the choices available. If your graphic supports bullet points, you can click the Add Bullet button to add a new bullet point into the bulleted list. You can click the Text Pane button to toggle the display of the text pane associated with a SmartArt graphic on and off. If a graphic contains bullet points or hierarchies, you can click the Promote and Demote buttons to increase or decrease the importance of a selected bullet point or shape. If you want to change the horizontal organization of a selected shape, you can click the Right to Left button to toggle the placement of the shapes between the right and left sides of the graphic. This will invert the order of shapes placed into the same hierarchical level in some types of graphics. For hierarchies of shapes or bullet points, you can click the Move Up and Move Down buttons to move the selected shape or bullet point forward or backward in its sequence. If available, you can click a shape that has a hanging branch sequence attached to it and then click the Layout drop-down button to select a new branch layout for organizational charts found within the Hierarchy SmartArt category. In the Layouts button group, on the Design tab of the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab, you can click on a layout style to apply it to your selected graphic. Note that you can hold your mouse pointer over the choices available to preview how they would appear in the slide before actually clicking one to apply it. In the SmartArt Styles button group on the Design tab of the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab, you can click the Change Colors drop-down button to select a new color scheme for your selected SmartArt graphic. If using pictures within your SmartArt, you can also click the Recolor Pictures and SmartArt Graphic command at the bottom of this drop-down menu to also recolor the associated images within the SmartArt with the selected color. This is also a toggle button, so simply select the same command again to turn it off when finished recoloring images within the graphic. You can apply a different style to your SmartArt by clicking on any of the styles shown in the listing of styles within the SmartArt Styles button group. You can hold your mouse pointer over any of the styles shown to preview how they would appear in your document before actually clicking on one to apply it. At the far right end of the Design tab, you can click the Reset Graphic button in the Reset button group to reset any color or style changes you made to your SmartArt. Note that the Reset Graphic button will not reset any layout changes you've made since inserting your SmartArt. For example, if you originally used a picture organizational chart layout and then changed it into a hierarchy list layout and then changed the style and color of the hierarchy list, clicking the Reset Graphic button will reset the color and style of the hierarchy list but will not change it back to its original picture organizational chart layout. Also, the Reset Graphic button will not remove any text that you have entered into your SmartArt. You can change the appearance of a selected SmartArt graphic by clicking the Format tab in the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab. This tab controls the shape and word art styles that you can apply to the individual parts of your SmartArt graphic. At the far left end of the Format tab, you can use the buttons in the Shapes button group to alter the appearance of selected shapes in the SmartArt graphic. If you applied a 3D style to the SmartArt but wish to edit its contents in 2D view, you can click the Edit in 2D toggle button to switch the SmartArt to a 2D view for editing. Click the same button again when you're finished editing to revert back to the 3D appearance. If you have a shape within the SmartArt selected, you can click the Change Shape drop-down button to select a different shape to use from the drop-down menu of shapes. You can click the Larger and Smaller buttons to increase or decrease the size of a selected SmartArt shape. You can use the Shape Styles button group to apply a preset style to a selected shape. The drop-downs in this button group have been covered in Lesson 13.5 Fill in Line Settings, 13.6 Effect Settings, and 14.4 Formatting Shapes. You can refer to those lessons for a refresher if necessary.
You can apply the same shape formatting to smart art shapes as you would to regular shapes that you insert into your document. Likewise, you can change the appearance of text within a shape by selecting a preset style to apply from the Word Art Styles button group. Any text in the smart art shape can be formatted just like any other text in your document. The other buttons in the Word Art Styles button group have been covered in Lesson 14.4 Formatting Shapes and work the same here. The Arrange and Size drop-down buttons that appear at the far right end of the Format tab contain commands that you can use to change the arrangement and size of selected shapes in your smart art graphic. The Arrange drop-down has the same options that the Arrange button group in the Format tab of the Picture Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon does, and that was covered in Lesson 13.3 Picture Tools. The Size drop-down button contains a Height and Width spinner box that allows you to control the height and width of the selected shape. You can use the spinner buttons or enter values in inches into the labeled boxes to change the size of a selected shape. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.